I t I just, something's wrong with Ace Queen. The hand just doesn't doesn't seem to ever do it. Just get it done. I don't know. Tricky hand. It's the same in short deck and then hold yeah, on right. <laughs> it's just tricky just hand. Okay, you're gonna take. All right, checking one back. Great card for the Jack Eight. All right, on the card and gives him that gut shot. Okay, so no more checking. Feels confident. He's got a blocker to the nuts. Top pair still. And uh, Aaron, non-believer. Can I have a little look? I mean, maybe if a you know fairly good rear situation doesn't think carry checks too many strong hands on the flop. Has two overs. Has a gut shot. And wow. wow. Oh, you got Ace Jack. Wow. This is a bizarre line, right? We can't. Carrie says you got Ace Jack, but does he expect Aaron to check Ace Jack twice? I don't think so. Yeah, it's strange. Uh, this is it. I mean, Aaron just, just comes out of the box there, just pretty quickly rips it in. Carrie's going to have to call here. Yeah. I mean, Carrie doesn't have too many strong hands himself, right? Having check back flop, bet turn. It's bizarre hand, bizarre. I didn't right. expect that this on that card. Man, this is it. You're in Aaron's world right now. It's sick because it's, uh, yeah, mean, if, Kerry, if Kerry just has 10, you know, right. protecting a 10, I mean, there's this, it's hard for him to have the jack. He checked back the flop. Right, this is one of the best. This is one of the best hands you can have when he wants to fold it. Yeah. He just can't fold, surely. Yeah, it doesn't. He's but like he's repping a boat. Like, what boat does he have? I guess Ace. Well, there we go. We're not expecting that. I, I mean, we, I, there aren't. What hands does he does he check 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 call and then lead jam? And Aaron just giving nothing away, isn't he? I'm trying to get a read on that face. No, he's. He's not giving it up, not giving much up. Carry Cats in the tank here. Carry got a double, held a flip, and now. Could you have, could have tens. Would he check you tens twice? Oh, man. Oh. It's an agony. That's right, it's, it's a it is a weird spot. I mean, at first I was thinking Carry just has to call, but at the same time, like, what? What hands does Aaron gets the river with? Queen King, Ace Queen, right. Ace King. But does he expect him just to bet these on the flop, or at least bet them on a turn? I can't beat I can't beat a jack, and I can't beat. I can't Pretty beat comfortable tens. with my hand at this point. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Pretty comfortable wet hand at this point. <laughs> wow. El Jefe is going to go with the old library. Got a little reaction out of him. This is this is serious. I was ecstatic with that river until you jammed. <sighs> you're only going to pot control on that board. King, queen. King, queen, you're probably going all in. Flop. He's piecing it together, Jeff. What would you do with a queen jack? You probably... Maybe check that for pot control. But then does he check the turn? You'd probably in induce me. Only thing I can beat is some totally snap decision where you're just bluffing because you have nothing. I think he's going to call. It's, I think it's really tough. Like I say, like you don't expect King Queen to check the flop, bull check the turn. Like, I'm going to fold. No, Kerry. Uh, My it's, goodness, it's, this guy's savage. It's a really weird spot. <laughs> uh -oh. Show the ace. That's all right. Yeah, I shoot the ace. I mean, you got to show the queen there, right? This the, the dirty card that shows the queen. You make the top calls, you know. Okay, Phil was thinking about it. Maybe I do. How much? Yeah. Okay, one second.
So leading into this one, 160. Michael. Well, it looks like a nice hand. Queen nine of clubs, eight clubs on board, a couple of kings, but I think hard to call this one. I think it's too hard to raise it though. Here we go. Phil definitely following this one. Just doesn't want to do it too quickly. Make it seem too easy to bluff this man. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. With the, just the back door draws, Phil's going to stick around. This reps a king very well. He thinks Soyz is bluffing. If Soyz gives up on this turn, Phil's going to steal this one on the river. Tell you what, guys, we are in for a match here. Two bets and going with these two hands on the flop. Phil doesn't have to go big here. He doesn't have many bluffs. He bet called this flop, remember? He just gets to have a lot of kings. Well, he is going big. I'm not the biggest fan of that sizing. I don't think it's necessary, but I think in this instance, any sizing is going to work. It's pretty clear. Soyz is bluffing by the end. He's going to have a little look. We both have uh, back door straighter as well. Here it comes. Seven or jack now will give you the straight. Sam obviously checked calling here. He's going to try and rep some other straights should they come. I think he would have taken off on a seven. Does now go check check eight pairs up. Oh, Sam certainly have some stronger kings. Mum would have bet. You know, like king queen perhaps. Would have checked called a set, you'd imagine as well if he'd limped in with nines. Oh, he's going pretty big. We'll see, I suppose, Jeff, he, you know, he has a 10, so he blocks. He has queen 10, so he blocks some of the hands he wants Phil to be bluffing with. So this sizing is really going after Phil's king X. Yeah, it's such a sneak. The queen 10 on this board is pretty sneaky. Um, if you make your, you know, you hit the gut shot. Well, it's not on the turn. He's got the, the extra, but it's just, yeah, it sucks to be Phil here. You know, you have, like, the worst hand you could have. I'm not and huh? Sam, Actually, gonna get it like done. This, I like no, yeah, this, this term is more fun. Ivy limps in, Jack, nine of clubs. Like uh, it, checking queen, eight of clubs on the button. A lot of clubs, Hello. and wow. I was just gonna say, it's almost Hello. impossible to see club Whoa. over club, but this is a... Double gut shot for Wykin with the better flush spot. draw. Phil, pair and flush draw. Wow. This is, this is, uh, this is spelling a lot of trouble for Potentially fill a really good card though. Look, he jumps into the lead now all of a sudden. Right, uh, Brit comes, means his jack's still good. Remember, guys, flush beats a full house in this game. If this comes a club, we're still going to see carnage. Wow. Well, we're not seeing carnage, we're seeing a queen. So Wyken takes the narrowest of leads, queens and tens. Phil I had all the making, Jeff, yeah. for a big pot. And Phil's uh, actually, it's interesting enough that he's going to bet. This is not. All right. Both don't like these runouts, but with uh, Queen Eight, well. this is a this is a great bet, and this is actually you know if you're watching at home, you see the runout, you go, oh man, it's a bit unlucky, or Phil's gonna end up losing this hand, but you know it's like if you're Wyking Young, right? What are you gonna do? You got a queen, you beat like nothing, right. and it makes sense. Phil can definitely hand, have hands like King Ten and Queen Ten, one with four hours, one's a straight, you can have King Jack, yeah, and he's been limping all his hands, so he can still have aces, he can still have Ace King. Pretty 
dry flop here. Nothing for anyone. Jason does have a diamond. Look at this instinct here. Gonna bet, and this is gonna work, I think. And Jeff, I do think the payouts actually are out. Looks like eight mm. paid, 100k for eighth, up to a first price of 800,000. Whoa. Phil with the back doors. 25. Sticking around with it. Well, sticking around, sticking around with interest. A little check raise. Nice play there. He knows, huh? he's played enough with Paul, he knows what's up here. Yeah, so $800,000 first prize. 